I was actually really excited to drive the 370Z Nismo, and thankfully Suburban Nissan of Farmington Hills was able to make that happen. And it actually turned out to be quite a fantastic machine. The car sat in the showroom, and after a little charging session, it was ready to go. The Nismo body aesthetics looked really at home on the 370Z and made it look super, super sharp. It kind of looks like a baby GTR. I'm not sure if you're following that, but I think it looks great. The car is powered by a 3.7 liter V6 engine, and that goes directly to the rear wheels. It's got 350 horsepower, and uh, that's around 30 more horsepower than the standard 370Z. And you can really feel the extra punch. Our example had the uh, seven-speed automatic, but uh, there is a six-speed manual that's available, but I don't know how to use that, so we went to the automatic. Anyway, it's got a single-clutch system, no dual-clutch here, but it fares very, very well. As you can see, the exhaust pipes are absolutely huge. <laughs> On the subject of the interior, it's not really eye candy like the interior of like a C-Class Mercedes, but that's really not the point of the car. This is a tuner's dream car, and with a large tachometer in the center of the instrument cluster, it moves up and down as you adjust the steering wheel, which is awesome. The incredible Recaro Nismo branded seats with the Alcantara inserts, Alcantara accented doors, and steering wheel with the red position at the 12 o'clock uh, indicator. It also has the uh, giant shifting paddles across the steering column that are kind of rubberized, and those three gauges that are strictly for the driver's eyes are kind of tilted. That's kind of really cool. It's got the, uh, you know, voltage setting, this and that. It's really a sight out of Fast and Furious. I love that. And not to mention a great sound system, which I will now demonstrate with the help of my friend Matt. <laughs> tuned suspension, a serious design, and some serious horsepower. I'm going to show you what it's like to drive this, and it was, it was a lot of fun. Got the dealer plate jumping around back seat. That's okay. It's fast. It's furious. Ow! Oh, light is burning my eyes. The steering is extremely stiff, which is to be expected. I mean, this is a, this is a serious performance car I'm driving in here. If you can hear it a little bit, I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> Doesn't have a dual clutch, but it shifts extremely fast for what it has. And the whole car kind of transmits what it's doing to you very, very nicely. I mean, you got, I showed you the interior already. It's got all of the uh, Alcantara inserts in it. It wears the Nismo kind of branding very, very well, which is nice. That's always a nice touch. I mean, especially when you tag on a performance company like that. Like, I know BMW does their M-Series cars. Mercedes has their AMG. Even Cadillac has their V-Series cars. You always kind of expect something out of them in that regard. So, I mean, tacking Nismo onto the 370Z, I think, is a really welcome kind of... Okay! Is a really welcome uh, kind of tag on to you know the 370 you really you feel it throughout the car too it's not like you're just driving a I know BMW had like the the Lime Rock Edition M3 that was literally just an M3 with a different name on it it didn't really do anything versus this car that it's got the suspension with it and I mean you can take corners like super super hard and it stays planted I mean this it's all rear wheel drive, but the whole car stays very, very planted. It's a very tight feeling car. The steering is very tight, the suspension is extremely tight, and uh, the throttle response is really good. I mean, it's a naturally aspirated engine, it doesn't have turbos in it or anything, so the throttle response is stupid no matter what gear you're in. And like I said, the shifts are extremely fast. The car feels very smart, small. I can't talk when I'm flying, I'm sorry. But it feels very small and very agile through the corners. 
shifting's precise. I mean, I'm on a smooth road right now, and there's a lot of there's a lot of information coming through the steering wheel while I'm turning. This car was by far the most fun I've had behind the wheel. Almost absent body roll through the corners, heavy, lively steering, intuitive shifts, and a very focused driver positioning are just some highlights of the car, really. The car was pretty harsh on bumpy roads, but that's the glory of stiff suspension, so I can't really complain about that. It felt great. But driving the car, you know, it really did remind me of the old Midnight Club games and the Need for Speed movies I grew up with. And uh, if you're watching this and this uh, car kind of reminds you of that, it felt exactly how it looks. It was the coolest thing ever. But anyway, huge thank you to Suburban Nissan of Farmington Hills, hey Matt, for uh, putting that together again, because that was an amazing experience. And you know we have to end with an exhaust clip, so thank you all for watching and take care.